Well, the Kev shed once again, and once again I've been ordered to make another uh, large platter. This is for our local uh, community hall. They need a very large platter there for serving food, etc. Um, so I've been asked to make this, and uh, I know you've probably seen a few videos on making bowls and and large platters, but uh, everyone's a bit different, and uh, I think this is a little bit different. This one for me, anyway. It's quite large, over a meter in length. So this is the. Uh, piece of wood it's uh it's called tuit it grows in the southwest of western australia only um and it's a it's a quite a pale wood it's extremely hard i think it'll make a, a very nice platter i think i can go quite thin with it because it's so strong so i've started marking out the underside of this uh, platter because i was going to use the natural wane here to allow me to get a wider angle because they want it as as big as possible so uh, this, this is the bottom that I've marked out and I'll put an angle all the way around it and then I'll start carving. So what I've done now is I've put a piece of uh, wood on my drill to, so that I've got a set depth and then I'm gonna drill lots of holes around the like toe so that when I uh, shape down, I'll know that when I get to that hole, the bottom of that hole, then it's time to stop. Just an explanation of uh, how I did it. You, you saw me quickly just mark out the shape that I was interested in. And then I used a drill to drill holes to a set depth to give me the, uh, the very thin bottom that I wanted to achieve with this. So uh, when I got to the bottom of those drilled holes, I could see that was time to stop. And I essentially only used the one grinder, which was uh, the Arbitec power unit. And I used it mainly with the turbo plane uh, to doing the shaping and then the sanding disc to do the fine shaping. Because you've got a speed control on this, you can slow it down and it won't burn, so you can use it for doing that shaping. I then followed uh, uh, with, a, with another tool that I really do like. This is the Merca sander, which is a really beautiful quality uh, tool that I really like using. It's a random sander and it sucks the dust through the uh, abrasive, which is kind of a mesh. Um, and they seem to last forever, so I really do like this product too. So uh, that uh, gave me the, my final finish. So now for the part that I really like, and that is uh, applying the finish. And in this case, I'm going to use a, uh, a food safe oil because uh, this will be used to serve food at our local community hall where I'll be donating this tray. So this is called hard wax oil. I noticed it's made in Vietnam. I've used it on several things and it works really well. So here's the, uh, the final tray. I think it's a nice shape and beautiful pattern on the wood. Some beautiful spalting down here. There she is.